everybody and welcome to the salty show and welcome to solaris season one hope you guys are doing well today and if you are and you're excited to get right back into the action here like and subscribe as always but without further ado let's get right into it so the untimely demise of our test campaign did kind of suck however it let us restart with some newfound knowledge from my end and also to d dive into the custom factions and the DLC aspects as I had some spare cash lying around and uh, as you can see I've picked up a couple being the Federation DLC, the Distant Star story pack, Apocalypse, Utopia, and the Leviathan story. Um, I don't know if these were the best ones to pick up but I did my best to pick up some of the expansion packs. The uh, the uh, story pack DLCs and things like that. I just, that's the money I had left, so. I might pick up more later, especially some of the newer ones. Like, I don't have Overlord, unfortunately, but without further ado, welcome everybody to the United Valderian League. So, this is the uh, custom faction I've made it. We have a military commissariate, democratic, with idealistic foundations, environmentalists, Egalitarian, Xenophile, and Militaries. We have the Valdari people, who are wasteful, talented, communal, and quick learners. And this is their background. After surviving the aftermath of a horrific global war, the Valdari were left a different species. Through violence and sacrifice, their planet was able to avoid total destruction of their own hands. Those who survived threw off the shackles of their former leaders and united all that was left under one banner. The road to recovery was hard, but they made it, staying oriented and on one goal, to explore the stars their ancestors could only have dreamed of, with their capital homeworld being Orasia. Without further ado, let's pick them. We are going to play on huge. Everything's going to stay about the same. Um, going to bump up AI Empires to 17 just because why not? Marauder Empires. I feel like that's new. Yeah, that's, that sounds new. Marauder Empires for me. Crisis type is random. Strength is 1.5. 23. We're going to keep everything, hopefully, the same. Even though uh, I'm not too sure how we're going to... I don't know how the DLCs are going to affect this, but we are just going to... Everything's going to stay the same. We're going to get right into it. I'm excited. I was really getting into the uh, test run, so I, I'm ex very happy to start playing this i do wish there was more ship types to add like customization which i know there are in the dlcs like but which is one reason i picked up some of the expansions because they add like the titan class and the juggernauts but here we are so our our the united valderian league with the ruler vaki kara so he has his own backstory too just a tiny bit but it's basically uh seeing the death of his or his parents sacrificed so much we he's was only a child during the great war so we were able to unite that's a horrible understanding of his backstory but i'm excited General. oh i'm sorry a prototype synthetic very intelligence nice. developed under utmost very well i will provide tip we're only gonna need tips tips only so welcome to rassi this is uh, the first time i've loaded in so it's pretty cool um i love the icon i made or like i picked i didn't make it but it's pretty cool. So Rassi is our home, our capital. This is now a home world. All right, yep. Very cool and very exciting. So, with this, obviously, the new DLCs and the new 3.8 update added a lot more to the leaders, as in we now have a leader capacity. And, oh, we gotta do our research. We'll get to that. We'll actually start doing that right now. The technology screen is where we will be directing. Yes. I figured there's going to be tips only, but um, we have the head of research right now, which is going to be, he's a part of the, the council. council screen yes. Is where we appoint the leaders who this will is come interesting. Into the future. Their personalities and traits will influence our empire for good and bad. We can set agendas in order to focus their efforts in a specific area. Counselors can be assigned or replaced at any time. The one exception is the ruler. Agenda progress is dependent on the counselor's level, which is a good population opinion. All right. 
So this is our council, the United Valdarian League so far. The Commissary General, our leader, Vakikada, Seri Eren, and Dimi Eren. I wonder if they're related. The head of research and minister of defense. For now we have infinite opportunities, which is citizen happiness. Which is uh, a okay with me actually. The faction screen. The policies tab covers go. So they've combined a lot of the tabs over here as well. We only have. So we should be able to do this. Oh, we can't yet. I wonder why. But we'll get into this stuff. Well, really, we should be okay. That is new, I feel like. Yes, very nice. All right. Let us go back to the tech. Our oh, head of research. 22% research speed. Field manipulation, research speed, chance for field manipulation. Okay, very cool. Alrighty. I'm excited. This is like, you know, obviously the I bought five DLC, so I'm really happy and I'm ready to get into this. Let us go for Earth Technician, any from Starbase, uh blue lasers. Capacity. And the energy grid. Um, let's go for just a field modulation first. Society, we will grab planetary unification. Unlocks additional edict campaigns. State crap, we're gonna lump sum of unity, monthly unity. Unlocks Starbase Building Off World Trading Company. Or the naval capacity. Let us do planetary unification and uh, we're going to get the nano mechanics just to get that increased research speed. That is science. The tradition screen. I did figure uh, the leader. Now this is new. Provides an overview of well, new ish and lets us hire, dismiss and manage them. Okay. Lead your class to determine by their possible assignments. Yep, we available prior periodically. We can support only a limited number of leaders. Going over our capacity will significantly increase the cost. Um, okay. Doesn't say how to increase leadership, but oh yeah, here is the actual description. Only a child when the Arasia catastrophe took place, a young lang of two warriors amongst a resistance cell. He watched his parents give their lives to secure the future of his kind. Or his kind has now. That is our leader. Alrighty, he's 25, wow. So he's ruling Arisia, the Commissioner General. Tardiby Suk is a militarist governor for the continental world. So, okay, he's governing Arisia. Head of research is on the UVL Tugana. So these are all the current leaders we have. Alright, very cool. Um, we don't really know. In the fleet manager. Yes. Hmm? So they've merged fleet manager and ship designer. All the ships in use within our. Thank you. Go away. <laughs> um, we'll keep it on auto best for now, just until we get some more abilities or more stuff to do. In and then we don't know anybody, screen, obviously. We see it. All right. So that is the internals sorted. This is our okay. We are far more near the center of the galaxy than the last uh, episode, but Ulysses, Ulysses down here is a, first off a choke point to venter and Hirun, which that has a potential habitable world. So, with that, let's get cracking. This is our science ship. Okay, I know what a science ship is. Thank you. Let's go over here and survey the system and hopefully don't encounter anything that's too horrible. This is our construction ship. Go ahead and do automatic construction. Maybe We're gonna hit things. play. So to 
Okay, so he does have some mining ships to build. That's fine. Got our lovely little Corvettes here. Same from the last uh, season, but they are yellow now. They look yellow. And we are going to set their stance to uh, aggressive. This is our system starbase. These upgradable stations mark star this is system new as well. and are most often tasked with producing all types of ships. Let's go ahead and get... Um... Construction complete. Oh, well, that's not good. Our citizens all send their regards. Really. Oh, God. Military isolationists. Stagnant ascendancy. Okie dokie. Oh, yeah, that first alien encounter. Wisdom must be great. We'll see about that. Where did we encounter them at? Oh, way over here. So, through the claims interface, this is a we can fallen influence to lay claim to star systems owned by others. Having it is. It's a, a fallen empire. A That's good. That's fine. Against the owner, allowing us to declare war for the purpose of conquering it. That is a okay. I was really worried that was already we already met a uh, another empire. Thankfully, not yet. They've got a lot of exploring to do. Hopefully, we can pump out a colony ship in a little bit. It's very weird having nothing. <laughs> I forget how low we started. I would love to get another science ship, but I don't know if it's really a smart idea. We probably want to. Uh, we probably want to get one Corvette going while we're waiting. Maybe two. Maybe two. Well. Construction complete. Yeah. Two. Okay. Well, I'm glad we were doing this because we did have quite a few things, uh, quite a few places that we still needed to build. Uh, along with that, though. The relics screen oh, this allows is, us wait to view yeah, and new. activate our relics, and also to enact decisions making use of minor artifacts. Anomaly found. A uh, little life signs have been detected coming from inside the atmosphere. The gas giant could indicate the presence of some kind of biosphere. Um, leave B for now, because I really want to colonize these plants. I don't know where. Ooh, we have our new tradition. Wow. Alright, so. Oh, there's new ones. There's new ones. Cool. Or maybe I just didn't realize these were here, but. So, adaptability. We've seen this one before. Pop housing usage. Diplomacy. Discovery. That'd be beneficial, actually. Domination, clear blocker, politics. Other science just scams the surface here in 4 it becomes quite clear that we have found something out of the ordinary. Here in 4 as conditions unlike anything we've seen, we will surely come across even more regular, irregular use. Interesting. Adopting all politics. Construction like complete. That. Mercantile, trade protection, and collection range. That's beneficial. Wow. Harmony, pop up, keep. Expansion, colony development speeds. Prosperity. Supremacy, Starbase Capacity, Cybernetics, Synthetics, Psionics, and Genetics. Oh boy. Oh, there's so many. I don't know which ones to pick. Oh no. Um, I really don't. Anomaly Research Speed. One of our science ships has just surveyed a world that would make an excellent candidate for our first colony. It is of the same planet class as our home world, so our... Okay, go away. Thank you. Uh, we will get right back to that in a minute. We need nine consumer goods and 66 alloys. Okay, so you're, you've researched all of that. 
Why don't you go ahead? <clears throat> Survey that system. If we get here, we can do this like a little choke point here. Really, our initial goals are going to be to get what I would assume be here, here, definitely one of these, and then here or over there. But we'll find out. <clears throat> Go ahead over here and build the star base. And we are going to go back to the civics or traditions. Um, I really, man, I am. Um, if I had to guess, we're going to go with discovery first. That could have been a bad call, but we're gonna do that. We're gonna get survey speed for sure. I think that makes sense, hopefully. Uh, I don't know how long I'm gonna be recording in this uh, episode, everybody, but I am really, really just gonna Anomaly record because this will routine. Um, leave B for now. 80 alloys. Via need. the market screen, we can buy and sell resources. At first, this is merely an internal market, but if enough empires establish contact, I expect they might form okay, some sort of galactic that. market. <clears throat> so he should be building a star base. Oh, this is a pretty system. Wow. Very cool. Also, there's some new music, I can tell. Very nice. Um, let's get the colony ship going and the planets and sector screen provides an overview of all our colonized worlds their pops and their resorts and thank you oh sorry about that everybody uh, give me one second Hey everybody, welcome back. I do apologize about that. There was nothing there. <laughs> but, always have to check. Okay, so I already realized I made it somewhat of a mistake. I think we should have gone for... Construction complete. Domination. I think that's the one that gives you the decrease in empire size due to... Everything, basically. So, you're gonna go automatic instructions. We should be pumping out the colony ship pretty soon. Another 200. Along with that, over here. Empire, capital, amenity, amenity, amenities, apologies. The agenda right. has reached a new skill level. Oh, okay. This will improve upon the bonuses they provide and, and grant them a, a new trait. trait. Well, they're like saying negative traits. Oh, so they've been given council, the council agenda is ready. Click to launch citizen pop. Yes. Okay, so they're going to be happier. Very cool. So what is going to be our next agenda? Display of power, max influence from power projection. <clears throat> Excuse me. Evolving society would give us unity bonuses, give and take, faction approval. Open arms. Trade Valley, Xenophile Attraction. Let us do Evolving Society. Land of Opportunity. Ooh, this is nice. Map the stars. Yes, please. Now this, actually, yeah, I'm surprised this hasn't shown up yet, our factions. Um, they will eventually. The situation log displays I have the victory screen lists certain conditions that we can strive to fulfill. To I'm going to do my best not to look at the victory screen because I promise I'm not going to be at the top of the scoreboard for a while. But we're rolling. We are rolling just fine. But our science, actually, hold on. System survey complete. Wow, already. Construction complete. 
All right, let's go ahead and... Whoa. I do apologize, everybody, if I have to cut the area short due to my co-creator being uh, demanding attention. But I am trying to get this... I'm trying to record before I go on the cruise because I was very excited to get into this. Obviously, if it doesn't work out, though, unfortunately, oh well. Go build a star base there. Yeah, and then you all hear the chihuahua in the background. I do apologize for the uh, bit of a hectic first episode, but they always are, kind of. Okay, so we're getting a bit more of the galactic map. And it does appear our initial choke points are going to be here and really here to the home world anyways. There we are, colony ship. Colonize. Perhaps we have to colony ship and move to colonize this planet here in Prime. Next up we have research research station output. Research alternatives. Leader pool. Oh, leader pool size. Hello. Construction complete. And we've expanded now to there. Automatic construction. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so we have a lot of credits. Let's go ahead and get some alloys going. And really anomaly found consumer goods are going to really be what we need i think we have a ranger lodge which is nice that's already one of our unique buildings i didn't think we i didn't know we'd start with that the music is really nice i the music is bumping um That would take up a lot of our mineral cost, but we're going to be getting more minerals. Let's go ahead for the industrial district, I think. And I think Congratulations on having colonized the first of all Darien colony to touch down on the mouth of a large river delta, one of the several continents that can be found on Hiram Prime. This temperate, forested region will serve as an ideal first landing site. Very nice. Hit him, Prime. For how about a new colony along, we should consider the recruitment of a planetary governor to oversee operations there. System survey complete. So we have the sector governor, but it's going to be a minute before we colonize. Fully. Now, with this... Let's go ahead and establish, survey this system. We're gonna cut off here, and we're gonna go down to establish our control over that area. And really, it is about time. I think we're gonna need a new science ship while we can. We've got three, if we get one, we get one more science ship. Because we have a couple anom anomalies that need researched for sure. Before we can worry about anything else. Which there goes a lot of our alloys, but we're doing fine for now. Speaking of alloys, let's go and get... We've got five. Let's go ahead and get a couple more. Corvettes rolling. Because once this construction ship's done, we need to build one here. But we do have a trade up, so we should be getting trade. Yes, we are. Very nice. As our empire grows, trade between our 
no trade lanes yet due to no advanced star bases, I think. I think that's the reason. Let me know if I'm wrong. Keep merging our fleets. Or I thought we could keep... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we need to recruit a new leader. So. We have... Kali Aaron here, 43, a 1.8 upkeep cost, research speed as counselor, empire effects as counselor, starbase module, that's pretty nice, wow. They all start with the same scientist traits. Science ship effects, survey speed, there we go. Tigi Dumak. Leader will cost 97 now. And I am here to serve your empire. Tell me what needs to be done. Very cool that they added that little pop up. Um, very cool. Let us go originally here and research the anomalies. Actually, you have faster survey speeds than. Yeah, than you do, I think. I wonder, is there a way to tell that? Because he was right here. A roamer. Expertise leader trait. Yeah, so... Really... We'll have him do the anomaly, but then we'll send him this way. Because he should be surveying. All right, you need to go ahead and head right here to build another star base outpost. Let us continue building our fleet. Get a fleet as big as we can, because who knows what lies in this disturbingly large world. United Valtarian League is looking nice, though. So far. It could change very quickly. What does that mean, actually? Clearable blocker. Oh. Uh, 300 credits. That's not too bad at all. Let's go ahead and clear that out. Investigations are underway. It's very nice. And I enjoy the, the music change up. Oh, Ulysses Strategic Resource Discovered Volatile Moats. Very nice. So yeah, we definitely want to claim. We're doing good so far. Research complete. Research through the, very nice. Physics research, research station output. Construction Physics complete. Research, research speed engine, or physics research from researchers. Let's go for administrative AI. Uh, that should boost this permanently, I think. Leader pool's been refreshed. Go ahead and do automatic construction while we're waiting. The atmospheric ecosystem. We've discovered a thriving ecosystem in the upper atmosphere of the gas giant here in M1. Massive floating creatures having evolved the bodies filled with lighter than air gases follow the wind currents. Wow. Very cool. Very cool atmospheric eco condition. Three society research builder research station. We've already done that. Okay. A research station built in orbit of a. Thank you. Yep. I'm aware of what research station is. All right. Go ahead and head here to research that. One. All right. My bad. Survey that system. Because survey, he's going to be faster at surveying. Which is nice. Doing good on our fleet size currently. We're doing good so far. Doing very good. Dubious of abyss. Blocker cleared. One of our first blockers has been removed, which is nice. Let's actually, I do apologize, the dog is chewing on a bone right next to me. Um, that did increase that. Minerals went down a little bit. 
amenities is decreasing. Really getting the job upkeep is to consumer goods. I wonder... Yeah, he is so loud, I swear. Approximate job... Wow, 11 research speeds. Or 11%. But for consumer good upkeep. So that's meh. Let us... Let's go ahead and crank out the hollow theaters so that we don't have to worry about it later. Or at least that's the plan, is so we don't have to worry about it later. <laughs> Who knows if it'll actually work. But we are exploring. Oh, this planet. These guys, this is a bad star system. A toxic world, a molten. Leader pool size, that'd be very nice. Now, also, leave B for now. Yeah, go for that, and then we'll get the faith in science. The new anomaly has been found over here. Very cool. I, I man, I am. I am still shocked. Like, I know I'm eight episodes, or I'm like, this isn't the first test run anymore, but I am so shocked that it took me this long to play Stellaris. I am, I'm loving it, everybody. It's so fun. I don't know how long we've been going, um, but hopefully y'all don't mind, as I've been dying to play this because I really wanted to get the first episode out on the day that I return. Exotic gases have been found on Ulysses or Alassia 6, the UVL to Ghana discovered several exotic gases. Very cool. Base leader kept six. Research complete. So we got a unity boost right there. I didn't see any benefit to this in our test campaign. Let us go ahead. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, sorry, guys. Let's go ahead and get this out, I think. Oh, boy. <laughs> You've got one more research done. Should be good. System survey complete. Construction complete. So we're done with that system survey. Go ahead and interesting that he can't do that. System survey. Oh, he's already complete. performing that order. Okay. Go ahead and move that way. Um, actually, I want you to move down here to build a star base. We want to cut off any, we don't want to be blocked in, hopefully. We really don't want to be blocked in. Colony established. Hidden Prime has been established. Very nice. So, we have our sector governor, which is Skorak. This one will be for the planet. As I'm assuming the... Yeah, he's the governor of capital. Meaning this guy will be separate from that. We are going to hit our leader cap if we do this, though. Oh my god, sorry guys. I'm sure you all heard that large bump. That was my dog hitting his head on the desk. Um... think we're gonna look around ship upkeep for that's counselor trait army build speeds defensive army now that would be nice I think I'm gonna hold off on the governor though and we're immediately gonna Let's go ahead. Research complete. 
There's no special features on this building, or on this, I don't think. Not that I'm aware of. It's a continental world. So really, what are we lacking the most? Well, other than influence. Um, really, it'd be consumer goods. Well, let's go ahead and get... Let's go ahead and start getting it. Let's get a mining district up. Research speed's done down here. Planetary build speeds, coil guns, armor, army damage, worker, pop output. Um, planetary build speeds sounds really nice. He's almost done investigating that. And we may now get research. Um, output or do researcher upkeep. Researcher upkeep minus 20%. So now, yeah, they're 3.6 now. But I did just notice we have six leaders. Plus three. Oh, the Astro only uses a junkyard. Interesting indeed. Go ahead and head there. Let's go ahead and get more. Two more Corvettes at least. Oh. The archaeology window shows details of the currently select. Scans. A debris belt. Difficulty nine. It's hell. Okay. Found. I'll leave B for now. And where is this at? The cabin. Found. Strange readings. Very hard. Okay, so we're finding a lot of anomalies in that system. And there's one. Now oh, that's the really hard one. Never mind. Construction complete. Okay, so we've done that. Well, they're gonna need a, another construction ship for sure. So yeah, that is. We'll have to get to that in a little bit. One thing I did notice, though, everybody is let me know below if maybe i misread that however in our society management leader pool size plus one leader pool size is that referring to it's referring to this oh no i thought it was referring to our upkeep that's unfortunate or well it just did plus one maybe it meant plus one everything who knows All right, so you're done doing that. Have you continue exploring that system? Ocean, 60%. That wouldn't be a horrible place to explore. Merge these, merge our fleets. Colony may build. Let's go ahead and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Actually, we should be able to build the Ranger Lodge, which is going to give, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty decent. Abandoned gateway. Oh my, ancient space station of some kind has been located in the edge of the Findima system. Subspace station acts as a gateway, part of a theoretical network of similar stations that at some point would have allowed for near instantaneous travel. Where is this at? Oh, it's down here, ain't it? Yeah, gateway. Anomaly found. Signs of a battle. So I haven't done these yet. Ancient remains of what appeared to be a gateway. If repaired, the structure could enable starships to rapidly travel. 
As long as it stays disabled, we have nothing to worry about. So we have our own little block so far. All right, you need to just do automatic construction. Yeah, this guy. System survey complete. Parka will do the star base constructions. So these two link up this way. That's good. So we can cut. Okay, that's really nice. If we can get. Construction complete. Alrighty, the Fendima. We have a lot of anomalies. I know I'm going to regret having to work on these anomalies later, but we are going to try and do that in a minute. However, if I can, if we can get over here, oh, we need more uh, influence. Shit. A witch. Oh, more Corvettes. Influence or political clout. The gain rate remains constant throughout the game, but can increase by declaring other empires your rivals or increasing your power projection. Okay. So we're trying to do the power projection. Trying being the keyword there. As we would really... Go ahead and move there. We'll come back and colonize. The city has the expertise of field manipulator too. Very cool. Merge them together. Construction complete. Yeah. Mushroom picking. A routine ecological study of our colony here on Prime has stumbled upon a strange fungal life form. The surface of them seemed shimmering and colorful, but what was most intriguing to them was the fact that separate clusters were seemingly communicating with one another. Furthermore, the biology of the organism appears to be clearly alien to the ecosystem. Influence gained 80 influence and a thousand food, or take a closer look. Um, I have a feeling, I mean, this looks nice off the bat, but perhaps this would be better. I'm almost certain it'll probably be better. System survey complete. Pendema is done. Let's go ahead and do explore systems, survey systems. Oh, I see why he's trying to do that. Never mind. So the spores have ears. Oh, that's disturbing. That is disturbing. We have concerning reports coming from here on Prime. Upon further examination, it seems the alien fungi we found is emitting a signal towards a location in the galaxy. Advanced spine. Oh, no. Um... Let's keep investigating. Hopefully there's not a, you know, back or a issue with that. As soon as we can get that starbase up and running, we're gonna... Your colony's doing good. System survey complete. No one listens. Oh boy. It's likely part of a network of similar and possibly spanning. Several including the volume of data transferred on a think that the network is still in use. Fungal study zone. Two here in Prime. Okay. Which grants society research from jobs. Very nice. So there was some benefit to it. That's good. Let us... Anomaly found. We don't have the minerals for it. That's unfortunate.
Alrighty. Oh, you went. Never mind. So, you are actually going to investigate anomalies and excavate. You are doing a good job. Oh. So he's gonna, okay. He's gonna survey that system and then he'll probably head back up here. Which is fine by me. Amenities. Everybody's doing pretty good. Stability is at 84. Construction complete. So we're doing alright for now. Construction complete. Encounter at Ores. We made first contact with the mysterious aliens in the Ores system. The Gamma Aliens. Oh boy. We made first contact with somebody. We have come into contact with a new entity. Perhaps a space-dwelling creature or another empire. We can learn more about them by making first contact. That's the Cyan Donog here. And we wish you luck. It doesn't say the Orag. Encounter the aliens here. How did we encounter them in our home planet? Are they here? I hope not. System survey complete. Wasn't much down there. Sheesh. Okay. You need to head. Okay, he is heading back. That's good. Construction complete. Not yeah, not for long. Oh, there is some stuff you can build there. That's fine. And he's heading back. Alrighty. So we've expanded a good bit, thankfully. I think we've gone. We kind of need to get down here, but ancient life pod, an abandoned life pod, was detected. Psi three. It is covered in scorch marks. Oh damn. Take a look at our situation log. Oh, first contact event. It seems our linguists have suffered a major setback. Language is used by, unfortunately, what they have taken to be their language quite simply was not in their report. Oh, well, that's, a, yeah, that is unfortunate indeed. Research complete. Let's grab a new research. Basic combat roles. Um, you know, encountering life forms might mean it's time to get some type of military research underway. Research complete. If I had to guess. This off-world trading company trade across interstellar distances represents a new challenge. Edict fund. Let's actually take a look at that. Well, we'll finish this off. As it will give us quite a few things. Let actually, real quick, government policies and edicts. We're at 20 right now, so... It would be beneficial to have that. However, I don't think it's uh, the most beneficial. Let's get the off-world trading company. And let's finish this out which unlocks a the ascension, ascension. List shows the ascension perks that we can potentially unlock some ascension yes so we have interstellar dominion claim influence starbase influence cost that's actually kind of beneficial monthly unity clear blocker this is Decision to increase the maximum number of districts. 
empire size from planets. Sorry, guys. I'll tell you what. I am going to cut it off right here, actually. Let me know what you think our first ascension perk should be. Um, and let me know if you've enjoyed the new season. I am extremely excited to see where we'll go with the United Valderian League. And I hope you guys are, too. And if you enjoyed the first episode and you're excited to see where this goes as much as I am when I come back from my vacation, like and subscribe, as always. And stay tuned for more. And thank you for watching my video on the week or weekend. I've been your host, Salty. Peace out, everybody.